in this example, we're going to look at tradable pollution permits. <clears throat> so we have a two firm industry, firm A and firm B, and each are currently emitting a certain level of pollution. Firm A is emitting 80 units, firm B 50 units of pollution. So in total, we have 130 units of pollution in this industry. Firm A can reduce pollution at a cost of $25 per unit, firm B at a cost of $10 per unit. Suppose the government wants the pollution level at 60 units. This would be a 70 unit decrease from 130. The government will issue 60 pollution permits where one permit allows for one unit of pollution. If the government wanted to reduce pollution by a larger quantity, uh, it would just issue fewer pollution permits. So problem one, example one, we're going to start with non-tradable pollution permits. In this case, the firms cannot sell the pollution permits between themselves. The government issues each firm 30 non-tradable pollution permits. Again, reminding ourselves a firm must have one pollution permit for each time it emits one unit of pollution. No firm can pollute more than 30 units in this example. And what we want to do is, well, what is the total cost of reducing pollution under this scenario? So starting here again, uh, we're going to add a column here showing that each firm is sitting on 30 pollution permits. Since firm A is polluting 80 units and it is only allowed to produce 30 units, the number of pollution permits it has, firm A must reduce pollution by 50 units, this 80 minus 30. Likewise, firm B is polluting 50 units, but it is only allowed to pollute 30 units. So firm B must reduce pollution by 20 units. And the total cost of that reduction, okay, so firm A has to reduce 50 units of pollution at a cost of $25 per unit. So we get the total cost for firm A of reducing pollution. And then doing the same thing for firm B, uh, the cost for firm B of reducing 20 units of pollution 10 times 20 is $200, and we get a total cost of $1,450. Let's move on to example two. Example two, we're going to have tradable pollution permits. Once again, the government will give each firm 30 tradable pollution permits, but that doesn't mean they will stay there. Firms are free to buy and sell permits if they desire. And in this case, firm B will end up selling 30 permits to firm A. So we're going to argue that firm B is going to sell all of its permits to firm A, leaving firm A with 60 permits. Firm B will sell each permit for no less than $10, its cost of reducing one unit of pollution. Firm A will pay no more than $25, its cost of reducing one unit of pollution per permit. So the, the <clears throat> so firm B will be a seller of permits. It'll sell permits to firm A, and the price will be somewhere between ten and twenty-five dollars. Let's say that the price will be twenty dollars, and in this case, both firms are going to benefit. If firm B sells a permit to firm A for twenty dollars, it will cover its ten dollars cost of reducing one unit of pollution, and firm B will be better off. Firm A will also be better off. It pays $20 for a permit to avoid the $25 cost of reducing one unit of pollution. So we have a trade here. Both sides of the, the trade are made better off. And so looking at our table, Firm A will have all 60 permits. It's currently producing 80 units of pollution. So it has to reduce pollution by 20 units. So its cost now is $500. Firm B is currently producing 50 units of pollution. It doesn't have any permits, so it has to reduce all 50 units. And the cost of doing that for Firm B is $500. Adding this up, the total cost of reducing pollution in this scenario is $1,000, which is less than our first scenario. So let's wrap this up. The total cost of society is lower under tradable permits than non-tradable permits. All firms are made better off with a tradable permit system. From Firm B's perspective, it gets revenues from selling permits. How many revenues? Well, it sells 30 permits at $20 a piece. That's what we argued in the last slide. So Firm B gets $600 of, sell, uh, of revenue from selling permits. It has to reduce pollution. As we saw in the last slide, that was $500. So looking at the net revenue here, Firm B is 
up by $100. Get $600 of revenue from selling permits, incurs $500 of cost from reducing pollution, it's up by $100. With non-tradable permits, uh, Firm B did not sell any uh, permits, so there's no revenue from doing that, but it did incur costs of reducing pollution. And so overall, uh, with non-tradable permits, the firm was worse off, minus 200 versus 100. Firm A is also better off under this scenario. Firm A buys 30 permits at $20 each, so the cost of buying pollution permits is $600. Firm A, as we saw still in the last slide, it still had to reduce some pollution, 80 units, and that cost the firm uh, $500. And so overall, the net revenue under the tradable pollution permit would be negative 1100 And negative 1100 is better than the net revenue position of the firm when there was no tradable permit system. So both firms are made better off with tradable permits. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.